I guess in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to install Oracle Data Integrator on Windows 10 or 11 operating system. So first here, in Google search box, you need to write there JDK, then go on this oracle.com site, Java download. So first you need to download and install the Java, okay, JDK. So they are going to use the Windows operating system, 64-bit MSI file going to download there. So here, this file is now uh, downloading. Next to uh, here, in Google search box, write there ODI download. Then you can go on this www.oracle.com site. Okay. So this site, here you can see this is the Oracle data, data integrator. potency is there. So first here, going to install this ZDK. So let's click on this. Click on OK. So here click on next. This location ZDK is going to install. Now here you can see Java SE development kit 23 version that successfully installed. So this install here, if I go on this command prompt, if I write there Java, then you can get this all these things that means Java install. If you are going to check, this is the version that I just installed. After that, uh, here you can here get Oracle Data Gate Data Integrated 14C is the latest version. For all platforms, you need to click this. Or uh, this migrated here. After that, uh, here on this, let's click on this Microsoft Windows. So Windows going to use and here accept. So this selected. After that, accept this terms. And now click on this download. So here file size is 2.6 GB. So now you can see this exe file that's come there. Let's click on this. So this is the location where this ODI is going to download. Click on next. So here this is downloading. For this one, NET must be connected. See here the file that's download completed. Let's click on this open. Thereafter, this is not required. Or here, first going to close this one. And the next is going to extract to this. So let's uh, right click, click on this extract. So click on extract. So this is now currently extracting the or this downloaded file, zip archive file. That extracted, here you can get here this jar file. Let's close this one. And this file that's going to save inside the copying and saving in C drive. Let's open this place, command prompt, and you need to start with the run as administrator. So, first here we need to go on this or C drive program files, and here you can see Java ZDK bin. So, if I place here J, then you can see here Java file. Let's copy this location and changing the directory first so or uh, this directory that has changed after that the next is let's go on this c drive and this is the file is there so let's copy this location and on this place here you need to write java minus jar then paste this backslash let's rename 
click on rename selecting all control C paste after that pressing to now you can see here extracting the installer launch log files this place so this will take few minute tabs Oracle data integrator installation step one of eight this version so let's click on next escape update next this is the Oracle home directory see Oracle middleware Oracle home if you want then you can change so I'm not going to change let's click on next here you can see this is the extender and if you select enterprise so on this enterprise there you can get ODI Z2 EE if you select extendo there this option is not there ODI studio both available here you can get op patch and repository creation extendo here repository creation but op patch is there some extra file that's extended added so let's use the enterprise going to click next and the after let's click on this escape here installation summary this is the summary this location going to install this ODI this is disk space and here this all let's click on this install button so this is now last second last step is there there going ODI data indicator is going to install so this will take few minute times to complete this this is the second last step installation progress here you can see or this 100% that's done here after that click on next button and here you can see this all so here Oracle data integrator installation completed successfully so this feature that install and about the creation of this repository this I will discuss in my next video so this is how we can install Oracle data integrated latest version. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.